Hello, this is Studious Octopus and today I'm finally doing another un unboxing for Glossy Box and this is the January 2015 Glossy Box so this in the UK. So this is the first one for the new year which I've been looking forward to. So I'm just going to rip it open and then open it up and I think oh, it's stuck there. This is just a regular pink Glossy Box, no limited edition print. Just chuck that away and there it is. Oh, this feels quite heavy and jiggly. <laughs> uh, the same as last month, we seem to have gotten this box sort of earlier in the month rather than you usually wait till the third week of the month. I don't know if that's because when it was Christmas obviously you got it slightly early because if it was in the third week you wouldn't have gotten it at all and then they figured people didn't want to wait the extra space that would be in between but anyway that's the inside all tied up still we've got a card for what we've got this month we have a sneak peek which I'll look at in a second and we have a hello fresh offer here for a 25 pound gift card the problem i usually have with these things like when i get offers for that gross that supermarket that is supposed to be quite nice they don't they, they don't are never in my area but anyway i'll just um, open this open the little sticker portion and here we go so I think this month promised five full-sized items, everything full-size, so we'll see what we've got. So this is fresh start must-haves for January. There we go. I'll just pick things out one at a time. I'm going to pick out this big item first, and this is the Kishi? Kushi? Never sure how you're supposed to say those, but you can say it. This is the Pure and Clean Revitalizing Face Toner with Aloe Vera, Chamomile and Calendula Paraben Free. So you get 200 milliliters in this. I'm just going to see if I can see the English on the back here. So Revitalizing Face Toner moisturizes and rebalances skin, providing a sensation of freshness and softness with optimal results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use it like a toner. I actually do use a toner. I currently use the simple sort of regular one that they do and I quite like using them every day. So it'd be nice to see what this is like. So this is 10 euros 70 for 200 milliliters and I'll have a conversion here of how much this is worth. Smells pretty much like you'd expect with a toner, uh, and it'll probably be quite nice. I like that it's pink. I'm not sure if it's actually pink or if the bottle's pink or if the liquid's pink. I think the liquid is actually pink. That's cute. Right, the next item I'm going to pull out is this. This is Naked Lips Super Fruits with blueberry, acacia, goji, boabab and pomegranate and me completely dropping it uh, and it's 97 percent organic 100 percent natural okay that's cool so this is an all-natural lip balm and it has one of those type of ingredients list where it's all stuff you can say the name of i think is supposed to be the idea it's sunflower beeswax coconut oil that does seem a bit super fruit heavy. Let's have a look. Well, I'll have a quick look on here first. So this is Naked Lips is the brand. Okay. And it's an organic lip balm super fruits. This is another European one rather than a one that's usually sold in the UK. I'll just show you the packaging. I realized I hadn't. So this is five euros. And again, I'll have the price up here. So they're saying some balms are a little waxy for our liking, but this is a 100% natu natural formula which is sweet tasting and full of nourishing oils. Okay. This is safety sealed, which is nice. I'll just twist that off. 
it has very a very strong fruity smell but it's actually very pleasant I actually have lip balm on my lips right now but I'll give it a go just cat hmm that's actually quite pleasant it isn't too particularly waxy so it has wax in it, it has beeswax. Um, it's more on the oily side, but it's not too oily because I have had a lip balm that's supposed to have good sort of moisturizing oily properties. I think it was the Palmer's one and I just found it felt awful on the lips, but this actually feels quite nice. And I really like the smell, though it doesn't taste quite as nice as it smells, but there we go. That is the Superfruits Lip Balm. Quite lip, uh, nondescript, plain packaging. It's just a lip balm. It does what it says it does. Next item I'm going to look at it as, is this interesting looking thing. And this is... Nika K New York Color Lux Powder Blush. Say hello to loose powder blush without the mess. Packed in a four metal pot complete with soft powder puff applicator. All right. So it's sort of an all-in-one contained thing. So you have a sort of high pigmented pure colour, but in an easy to use format. And this suggests using it on the cheekbones rather than lower down on the apples of the cheek. This is from Glossy Box. And again, this is another one that has a price written in euros, which is eight euros 95 for this size, which is five crowns. And again, I'll have the price break down there. Let's see, this one is also safety sealed. You can see it has a plastic uh, wrapping and I'll just try and open that now. I also like actually that this thing on the top here does actually work as a mirror. So there's that the inside on that side, that's the powder. It smells very strange actually, I'm not sure that's pleasant. And then this side comes off and it is a powder puff type applicator. to figure out if I'm supposed to just use this like this or am I supposed to open it up and dab it on my cheeks I have absolutely no idea oh right I think you're supposed to actually use it like this rather than opening it which I'm assuming is the powder finish but uh you get to just apply it easily Let's try and get some of it onto my hand there, there. I added some on my hand there, so it's quite a light pink. I don't know how much that's actually showing up, but it seems like a nice pink colour. Uh, I'm not sure how 100% convinced I am by this sort of application method. I guess I could say it is something useful for if you're travelling or if you just want it in your bag to check sort of if you're still done up i like the idea of this little mirror i guess so then do you just rub it on your cheekbones like that that is admittedly an interesting idea i suspect we'll have to see how it goes right it just clicks down it doesn't uh, spiral down but uh yes unfortunately when i opened it up it didn't smell very nice it uh has, I think, all the usual ingredients that you'd expect from a powder. Anyway, it says the shade, it's the shade Romantic. Okay, and there we go. It's very unusual. So that's the third item. The next item is a Me 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 cosmetics item, and this is the Eyeline Pencil in Clay. This is a British brown brand which has created the perfect eye pencil, long lasting but extra soft. And this one has a 
price in pounds now, it's four pound for this pencil, which looks to be a good standard size. Oh, there we go. And yes, this is in sort of a brownie colour. Quite a nice brownie colour. And there we go. Which is nice, because we did get an eye pencil previous to this, which was just a black one. It was also in one of those awful spin type containers, which I don't really like, I've found. This just seems like a standard nice brown pencil. I have heard of Mimi Me Cosmetics before. I think they do some sort of almost benefit dupe type items, but there we go. Just a nice brown eye pencil, quite affordable. Right, and then the last item we have is this tub. This is the Jelly Pong Pong brand, and this is their All Over Glow. Fun, foolproof and unfailingly simple to use makeup. It's a brightening gel, great for problem skin as it's oil free. Packed with micro pearlescent pigment. So you dab along the cheeks, the brown bones, everywhere you'd highlight, and it highlights. So this is £10 for this item, which is again full-sized. Let's have a look at it. It is safety sealed as well, which has been good. I suspect this one is going to be a bit more of a pain to open. And there we go. Let's have a look at it first. So, dab on. Pretty sort of standard ingredients. I'll put some on my back of my hand here. Oh, it's not what I was expecting. It's actually quite dark and kind of metallic y, bronzy goldy. I'll just blend it out. And there it is blended out. I'm actually a bit worried that that might be a little dark for my skin. What it actually kind of reminds me of is the Boot 17 product where it's a sort of a pearly primer. It could be interesting. Uh, let's try this on a little. Hmm, it leaves quite a residue behind when you're rubbing it in with your fingers. But you can see sort of clearly there, it's quite pearly, silvery, glimmery in look. I suspect I would probably prefer to use this quite sparingly. And yes, it says dab on and blend off. It doesn't particularly smell of anything as far as I can tell, but yes, that could be interesting. Does that go the other way around? And there we go. Interesting format to receive it in as well, because the last highlighter I got was just in a tub. And this is a liquid format. Very cute packaging. I like the bicycle. So, overall impression, we've got some makeup that looks like it's sort of, so you can use it together as a bit of a set. Highlighter, blush, eyeliner, which is a nice idea. This is interesting. I'm not, I don't think I'm 100% convinced, but we'll have to see how it goes. This seems quite nice. Uh, and a toner. Price-wise, I think the toner and the highlighter are the most expensive items, as far as I could tell. And then the lip balm and the Me 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 cosmetics items are more on the budget end. But they're all full-sized items. Just going to take a brief break now and work out how much the box is actually worth and then I'll get back to you with that final total. Okay and we're back. I have the worked out total. The box was worth £33.20 which is the cheapest box I think I've had so far, but actually it doesn't feel sort of as cheap as £30, I don't think. And yeah, the highlighter from Jelly Pong Pong is the most expensive item. 
and the toner is just after that this was only eight pound out of the two of them i suspect the toner will probably be worth the money more but it depends how much i use this and then the cheapest item is the just the lip balm which would be expected lip balms aren't expensive but it seems quite nice so i think overall despite the fact that it's a cheaper box it's i'm actually still quite happy with it it's some brands that i've heard of but never tried and the rest of them are brands that i've never heard of before and are quite interesting and some quite strange new sort of ideas about products but uh, so that's it for the january 2015 glossy box uh, and we also have a little bit of a sneak peek, which is the Royal Apathet Apathic? Apothic? Hmm. Uh, a lip butter is our next item in coral, which looks like it has some quite cute packaging. And then we have a message from the editor. Do 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 just talking about opening a new online editorial platform which is Beauty Unboxed and yes it says they're starting January with a bang with five full-sized items to add to your beauty regime and get in touch with us on social media there we go so quite a nice little box uh, not quite sure yet which will be my favourite items from it, but I will see you again next time.